What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and At Games sent me the top half of the Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet for repair. And this one has, I believe, a monitor issue. I don't know if it's uh, no power or no video, but we're gonna find out right now. I don't have the control panel for this unit, which has the game board built in, and I don't have the power supply, but I do have the control panel for my old unit, and it's a different model. And I do have the power supply from my other unit, and I believe it's the same power supply, but we're gonna make sure. So my model is the HA8800 model, and this model is the HA8800D model. And the input voltage is 12 volt, 5 amp, and it looks like it's the same 12 volt, 5 amp power supply, yeah. So that should work. I did notice this has a wire harness coming out of it on the left side and my control panel, it's, it's on the right side. All right, let's go ahead and check all the connections. We're gonna plug in the power, spin it around. We got lights, no video. Oh, we got red and green. It's Christmas time right, and blue. So we're not getting any boot up screen. Now Act Games was nice enough to send me this flow chart. It helps you diagnose your Legends Ultimate Arcade. Hopefully this helps you out. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Now starting from the upper left hand corner of this flow chart, you want to check all the internal connections. Make sure they're secure going to the control panel. Unplug them and plug them back in securely. If everything looks good, then move over to the right of this flow chart. Press the button down on the control panel to turn on your Legends Ultimate Arcade. Now if the power button lights up, then you have power. If it does not, then you want to check three power connections. One power connection from the power cord going to the power brick. The other power connection going directly to the back of the arcade cabinet. And the other power connection that's going to the control panel. After reseating all those power connections, Go ahead and turn on the arcade and see if that fixes the issue. We're troubleshooting. We're going to narrow it down. Open up the control deck. I suggest laying the control panel on a bed or a soft sofa so the joysticks don't get damaged. Remove the screws from underneath the control deck to expose the main game board. You want to check the connections, the HDMI connection on the main game board. Unplug it and plug in the HDMI connection, make sure it is secure. Another thing you could do is, once you open it up, you wanna check the HDMI output on the main game board to uh, another monitor to check if there is a signal. If there is, then you have to proceed forward with this flowchart and move down to the bottom right hand corner of this flowchart. Next, you'll notice under the control panel, Follow that HDMI cable from the game board to the switch board. Now on the switch board, you want to reseat those HDMI connections, unplug them and plug them back in. Make sure they are secure. If the blue LED is lit, connect the HDMI output and input on the switch board to another monitor to check if there is any signal there. Plug in a longer HDMI cable plug it into a monitor, make sure that monitor is on the correct input and check for a signal. If there is, proceed again to the middle bottom of this flow chart. Now from this point, you wanna put everything back together and put the control panel back onto the Legends Ultimate Arcade, make sure everything is secure and plugged in properly. You're gonna to move to the back of the arcade cabinet and remove the screws from the back panel and you want to check the connections you inside be of there. Wires right here that are plugged in. You don't want to rip them out. Now inside there is the monitor scalar board. You want to check the HDMI connection. Go into the monitor scalar board, unplug it, and plug it back in securely. After reseating the HDMI connection on the scalar board, go to the front of the arcade cabinet, turn it on, and see if you have a picture. If you're still experiencing the same issues on the screen, 
then you can take that HDMI cable and plug it into another working monitor and see if you get an image. Make sure you're on the correct input on that monitor. If you have no signal, then your game board or the switchboard or the HDMI cable could be bad. Now if you do have a signal on that working monitor, that means everything in the control panel is sending out a good signal and working. The scalar board could be bad or the LCD monitor could be bad. Or what I'm going to show you next could be your solution to your problem. Oh, this connection's loose. Probably because of shipping maybe. And everything else looks secure. Just push it in just in case. Reseat these cables. This is the HDMI audio video cable for, from the game board. Turn on the monitor. And we have App Games booting up. You're still waiting. There it is. It's working. That was it. Yeah. Everything is working. Let's see if the audio works. <laughs> yep. Audio works. So we don't need to exchange that video board. I'm gonna do it anyway, just to show you in this video. So if you do have a bad video board, you'll know how to swap it out. So once again, you wanna check your video connections. The HDMI connection going to the control panel. The HDMI connection going to the monitor. And the video cable going to the monitor. We're going to swap it out. You want to always grab the connector, not the cables, because if you grab the cables and pull, you're going to rip out the cables from the connector. So always grab the connector itself and then wiggle it out. And same thing right here. Grab the connector, the white part, wiggle it out. Sometimes there's hot glue, you have to peel it off. I should have grabbed it. When you're unscrewing the scalar board from the cabinet, make sure you hold the post. This one looks good. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh, I'm going to use the ground cable right here. Always plug in the power last. Now when I was a video arcade tech, a lot of times I would get a service call and I simply unplug the power cord from the power supply, wait about one minute and plugged it in and it would work again. That fixes any kind of weird glitches. This is secure right here. A lot of times in shipping, these plugs can get loose. Feel secure. That is good. And speakers, I go right here. 
and this plugs in right here. And the red wires go on the left side. If this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has the Legends Ultimate Arcade that may find this video useful in the future, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Subscribe, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later guys.